Hey everyone, happy Pride Month. My name is Jacob Beardsley. Many of you may be better as Kidrill Hops. Yes, I look like howdy. Sorry, my screen's over here, so I'm gonna be looking at it quite often because it moves and my eyes pick up movement very, very much. Okay, I'm sorry. But I could do hold on. Bam! Problem solved. Ha! Ah, I went to the home. Anyways, happy Pride Month. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can tell I have ADHD and I haven't taken my meds yet. It's bad. Anyways, originally I was going to make a video for Pride Month talking about my experience as part of the LGBT community, which is an up and down sort of experience. It's kind of all over the place. Um, but first I realized there's a few things that I should probably talk about first. Uh, mainly about what parts of the community I am. And the reason why I want to talk about it specifically is because it is currently... 8.30 a.m. on the 4th of June, um, and I've discovered two new, well, discovered, not really, realized, yes, uh, there's two things that I've recently kind of put together. Um, one of them is somebody that I just kind of was like, oh, that makes sense, and the other one is like, what is the fucking word for it? And I had to go look it up and do research on it. I spent like an hour trying to figure out what the fucking word is. Look, it was a complicated process, but first let's start off with am what we've all known i am uh because i talk about it a lot got tweets don't forget about that one that's a spicy one spicy one i'm pansexual um i'm pansexual with a very strong male lean i mean basically i i prefer guys biological guys i should say um but i i i'll i'll you know i have no air freshener I have no specific preferences. Um, basically, if you're a good person, you're probably my type. That's really about it. Basically, I'm the equality of sexuality. Or as you could also call it, I'm the slut of sexuality. For the record, being pansexual does not mean you're a slut. Usually. In my case, it does. But they're two separate things, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Um, so... That's the main thing that people know. However, recently I've discovered two new things that I do kind of want to talk about it. And I guess this is kind of my coming out video in a way. <laughs> um, I realized that I am aromantic, which to be fair for me is most likely based on trauma. Me and relationships have never really worked out. So it just makes sense that I would be like, ah, yeah, no, I don't see a point in them. <laughs> uh, they don't, they're not really for me. Um, and... That's my scenario. A lot of people I know who are asexual or aromantic, aka arrow ace, um, they haven't had those experiences, meaning that they don't actually have trauma to feel that way, meaning that you don't have to be traumatized to, to be part of the community. And that's something that a lot of science gets wrong, and I fucking hate it. Uh, <laughs> yes, trauma can cause some of these things, but it doesn't always. For me, it definitely does. Uh, and I'll go into all my relationships in a later video, and I mean by later I mean like later, <laughs> way later. Too much to go over. Uh, I have to make a whole on like document basically of like I, I've been in at least two dozen relationships. None of them, except for one, has gone well. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that at a later date. Um, however, I've recently discovered something else. I didn't think that this was something that was abnormal for me. I just thought it was like oh. Okay. Everyone feels this way. No, um, I am, give me if I use the wrong word, because once again, I did research on this. It took me an hour just to find this much, all right? I believe I am uh, gender apathetic, meaning that I don't give a shit how people identify me, and I don't really identify with one specific gender over the other. I still go by he, him, just because that's what I'm used to. If that makes sense, I'm a lazy bastard and also... I don't like change. If we're going to be completely honest, I just don't like change and I'm lazy. Those are literally the only two reasons. Um, and I, you know, I just, I don't think gender is really important to me. So I, I don't really care how people identify me as. Um, I, I don't feel like I'm particularly manly or that I fit the, the men side of things. But I mean, it's what I've been my entire life. So that's what I go with. Um... So yeah, I, I just don't think there's really a gender that fits me. That simple. Does that mean that I go by they, them, or that you guys should call me that? 
Uh, I don't go by it, but you can call me it. I don't really care. If it fi if that description of what I stated uh, is what you think should be they them, call me they them. I, I, uh, whatever you think is, is what you should call me, just call me that, basically. Um, and once again, I, I couldn't really find much on this. I found other people who had the same kind of viewpoint on it and, like, had very similar, you know, experiences as me, and I'm just like, oh, okay. So that's what I am. And to be fair, there are other words, but gender apathy is, like, the all-encompassing one that fits in all the other ones. So that's the one I'm going with, just because... I don't know what these smaller ones are. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, long story short, if you want to call me uh, him, go ahead. They, them, go ahead. She, her, well, thanks for giving me a reason to have these, I guess. Someone's going to clip that as a gif. I, I shouldn't do be doing that. Someone's going to fucking clip that. <laughs> no, I, no, I feel... <laughs> no, I don't like it. They call me Titrol for a reason. Uh, no, but... <laughs> Uh, seriously, though, call me whatever you think is best. I, I personally don't care. For those of you who don't know, I had very long hair as a kid, uh, down to, like, my lower back. I mean, I currently have... It's, it's still kind of wet from the shower, so it's kind of messy. Um, it goes down to my shoulders right now. My hair as a kid used to go down to my lower back. Um, so, I, and people would miss me as a girl all the fucking time. I never really got offended by it. I never really thought about it. I'm just like, oh, okay. Only time I really got offended by it was when it was a close friend of mine who hadn't known for, like, the four years that I had known him. And I was like, bruh, are you fucking serious? <laughs> you didn't know I had a dick? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That, that was pretty much the only time I ever got upset about it. So I don't really have a problem with people calling me the wrong gender. In fact, people still do it at stores occasionally. If they see me from the back with my long hair, which nowadays I always have a hood or a hat on, specifically my green beanie that's over there on the floor. I don't know why it's over there on the floor, but it is. Um, people mistake me as a woman all the time in, short, in stores just because of my long hair. And I'm just like, hmm? And they turn around and they see the beard and it's like, oh, my apologies, sir. And I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> just keep moving on. <laughs> just move the fuck on. I don't give a shit. And it, here's the thing. It's not that I'm not offended by being called a different gender than, you know, what I was born as. I just don't care. And I think that's the difference. As some people, you know, people might not be offended by it, but it's still, they still prefer to be called a different gender. I just don't give a shit. Genuinely call me whatever you think is best. And I should mention, the reason why I started to put this together earlier this morning, at th well, at midnight, I was streaming, and around 3.30 a.m. ish, um, someone came into my chat, a first-time chatter, never fucking seen them before, it literally said first-time chatter, and they said, oh my god, your voice is so hot, me going, oh, 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 bottom energy, what the fuck? <laughs> Pure fucking bottom energy. I'm like, oh, well, th thank you. <laughs> Buy a guy a drink first, please. <laughs> Pure panic. I call it the pure virgin energy, because that's what I have all the fucking time. I, it's like I've never seen a woman. <laughs> I guess in my case, a man. Uh, but you get my point. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, uh, well, welcome to my stream. <laughs> Anyways, but what happened was, they thought I was a woman. And I have never had my voice mistaken for that of a woman's. It's never fucking happened to me before. I can kind of see it, or hear it, I guess, but not really. <laughs> I mean, i am be honest, if I was a woman, I'd smash. If I was a man, I'd smash. Look, I'd just smash. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, I, I, she, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I feel bad now, because she found out I was a guy, and I'm like, I, I'll be whatever the fuck you want me to be, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> like, it, like I've had, I've been called a different gender multiple times, but I've never really like paid much attention to it. And I genuinely started to be like, "Huh, I really don't care how people identify me." Interesting. Now, for the record, I also wear skirts pretty regularly, so I'm not a manly man. I have a beard and I have hairy arms. Hairy arms because I'm lazy and I don't want to shave my arms. Uh, but the beard, I have a baby face. <laughs> if I shave, I look like a baby.
Plus, it's slowly turning gender. I don't even, ginger. I even see it in the, in the recording. Not really. Eh. I have like small ginger hairs forming. It's like growing out to be uh, ginger. So I am slowly losing half of my soul that I already sold to the devil years ago to suck his dick. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Am I? But seriously, uh, I'm slowly turning ginger, so I just find that funny. So I wouldn't shave even if I wasn't a lazy bastard who had baby face. Yeah. But I'm not shaving, and it's not because I'm a man. It's just because I'm a lazy bastard who has baby face. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm not really a manly man. I'm not a girly girl. I just think, eh, be whatever the fuck I want to be. For the record, I wear skirts all the fucking time. Well, uh, when I want to, <laughs> which is pretty often. Um, and I always recommend to people, buy on a skirt. If you have never had a skirt on before, try it on once, in private, no one has to know, just you, try it on once, if you like it, if you don't, then never have to talk about it again. Anyways, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I like skirts, anyways. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I don't think that a specific gender really fits me, nor do I really care. I just, I don't know. I do, I, I will say, if, if you feel like it's best to just identify me as he, him, because that's what I go by, be my guest. If you don't think so, if you think that someone else fits me better, once again, tell me whatever the fuck you think. <laughs> I really don't care. Because I, I didn't even know this was a thing until recently. I'm just like, is this a thing? Like, this has to be a thing, right? Where I just don't give a shit? Is that a thing? And I looked it up and it took me, once again, it took me like an hour. I saw, first thing I saw was other people with the same, like, same kind of, you know, uh, idea as me. Where it's like, is there a name for this? And I was scrolling for like an hour trying to find it in like all these different like question forums. And someone finally said, hey, it's like gender apathy. Oh, that makes sense because apathy is not giving a fuck. <laughs> and gender is, well, gender. So not giving a fuck about gender. Makes sense. <laughs> so that's why I think that's the right term. But once again, if it's not, please correct me in the comments. Just let me know. Uh, and I know there's like other versions of it. There's like apogender. But technically androgynous is one of them. And I'm like, nah, I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that. Um, but yeah. So uh, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming up, coming to my coming out video, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. And for the record, I don't, I don't want any of this to impact how you guys see me, even though like 90% of my personality is talking about sucking dick. Huh. Man, I really am gay. <laughs> for the record, I do say I'm gay a lot. Once again, I'm pan, but I'm as gay as I can be without actually being gay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. All right. I'm ending this video here. Uh, I will make another video this month later to talk about, uh, you know, my experience in the LGBT plus community, but I wanted to talk about this first, just so that everyone knew what I was and it was established beforehand. That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. Bye. As always, stay safe and stay comfy. I hope to see you all next video. Oh, I should have, fuck, I wanted to mention, me having long hair as a kid, sorry, random other tangent, me having long hair as a kid was due to me having low blood, uh, low blood pressure. So I was always fucking So I was always fucking cold. Long hair helped with that. In fact, the ear scarf on my model is specifically designed or it was it was the idea was based on my long hair as a kid because I used to actually just like throw it over my shoulder and wear it like a scarf. That was what I used to do as a kid because it worked. It was a nice little warmer and it kept like a part, part of my back and my neck warm. I had a lot of hair. <laughs> so yeah, I just used a scarf. It worked. Yeah. Uh, anyways, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Fuck it out. Goodbye. <laughs>